below. Welcome once again to Stuff and Things, where I like to talk about stuff and occasionally even things. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today I have a pipe smoking hobby related product review for you. And the product which I will be reviewing is this. It is the Mr. Brog Chrome Pipe Lighter with Tamper and Pick. Now this was sent to me by Mr. Brog for review. I've already reviewed a Mr. Brog pipe and a pipe tool by Mr. Brog. The pipe I liked quite a bit for the price. The pipe tool I wasn't a huge fan of, but we're gonna take a close look at this pipe lighter and determine whether or not it is worth your hard-earned money. Now, those of you familiar with the pipe smoking hobby will definitely have seen this style of lighter before, this soft flame chrome butane lighter. They almost always have a snuffer cap like this. The nozzle here for the butane comes out sideways so as to better facilitate lighting a pipe. Flint goes into this area here, and as you close the snuffer cap, the butane shuts off and the flame is extinguished. I believe Dunhill was the first manufacturer to make this style of lighter and then they were popularized by I Am Corona. The Old Boy is a very, very famous, very popular pipe lighter. I myself have this Peterson pipe lighter and it's around $100 for the Peterson. I Am Corona Old Boys are around $100 as well. This Mr. Brog lighter is $14.99 currently on Amazon. So why is it so much cheaper than those other more premium pipe lighters? And does it work? Is it worth your money? We're gonna take a closer look at this. I'm gonna talk about all the different features that this has. And at the end, I will determine whether or not it is worth your hard-earned money. So let's take a closer look. Well then, the Mr. Brog Chrome Pipe Lighter with Tamper and Pick, $14.99 currently on Amazon.com. The product description on the Amazon.com Mr. Brog storefront says heavy chrome build, says two year guarantee, though I'm not sure how you would actually make a claim on that guarantee, has a built in tamper and pick, flame size adjuster, Mr. Brog gift box included right here, and butane not included. Now, before we get into actually looking at all the features, looking at this lighter in depth, I wanted to read the product description on the Mr. Brog storefront on Amazon.com for this lighter because it is a little bit hilarious. Now, obviously, this is an international company. They're from Poland. and Sometimes things maybe get lost in the translation a little bit, but let me read this to you. <clears throat> Smoking a pipe is a very classy and relaxing thing to do, but if you light it with trash, then you're better off not doing it at all. This lighter has got all you need to add and invigorate your touch of class. A well-designed flint stone pipe lighter that can be handled with one finger and won't shut off in the middle of lighting. No buttons to push, so no tiring fingers. Just close lid when done lighting. Tamper and pick tool are uniquely desinged into the bottom of the lighter. A truly sophisticated lighter, perfect for serious pipe smokers. Its soft flame is beautifully accented by the polished chrome finish. The size of the flame can be easily adjusted with the flame adjusting wheel. This piece is guaranteed on the body for two full years, butane not included. So there you go. All you really need to know about this lighter. Let's take a look. It does come with this nice little presentation box, which is not bad at all for a $14.99 lighter. I'm just going to say $15 lighter. It comes like this, packaged like this. I did not find any sort of documentation or anything. There's no warranty card that I could find. So again, that two-year warranty, I'm not exactly sure how you would claim that. I tried looking on the Mr. Brog website, but it is kind of in Polish and kind of in English. So it's sort of hard to navigate, but maybe some of you guys will have more luck. So we've got our box. The lighter itself, if you're familiar with the Corona Old Boy, this will look pretty familiar to you. Chrome bodied, has a snuffer cap here. As you open the cap, the butane turns on. There's a little nozzle here that the butane comes out of. You flick this wheel, it flicks the flint there. The flint is kept in here. You just unscrew this cap. Should look very familiar to you. Little spring, flint comes out. They actually have this little plunger as well. Not sure how well you can see that. Fits into the end of the spring. And from what I can determine, this takes standard size just Zippo flints. Um, this is very hard to do through the viewfinder. Um, and I'll show you, this is the flint that actually came with the lighter, if I can hold it in my fingers right there. So let me just put that back in. Um, it should fit normal standard Zippo flints. I haven't actually tried changing it yet, but from the looks of it, it should be fine. So let's just screw that back in there. And the flame comes out sideways, just as it does on the I Am Corona Old Boy and on the Peterson lighter that I have. 
So the nozzle comes out this way. So as you light it, now it's not going to light. Sometimes when you take the flint out, it takes a little while to catch. Now, the one thing that kind of caught me off guard when I first got this lighter is that you can see, perhaps if the angle's right, that the flame kind of comes out at a little bit of an angle instead of straight out. And at first I thought perhaps that this nozzle had just been kind of canted the wrong way. But now that I think about it, because it is a little bit behind, if you can see that, it's a little bit behind the flint wheel there instead of sort of beside it as it is. If you look at my Peterson lighter, it is basically right beside where the flint wheel is. I think they actually did that on purpose, had the flame come out a little bit at, a little bit at an angle so it wouldn't be directly um, contacting this flint wheel here. So I think that's fine. You can see you get a nice soft flame. You can adjust this flame down below here. You can see there's a plus minus arrow there to adjust the flame. And like the Corona Old Boy, and unlike the Peterson, this Peterson lighter does not have any pipe tools included. So all of this space here is for butane. This does have pipe tools included. They're not the best. Um, you pull this out and like the, also like the I Am Corona, if you rotate this, it locks this tamper in place. And I don't know if you can really tell, but it's kind of askew a little bit. Um, it feels a little light, a little cheap, but I guess it would work in a pinch. I would probably never use that feature. I know some people do on their Coronas. And then it has a little bit of a pick scoop kind of end there. I pretty much would never use that, but it's there if you need it. Now, one of the drawbacks of having those pipe tools included is it does cut down on the butane storage a little bit because basically you only have this side of the uh, lighter for storing butane. So in terms of longevity, I have used this for a couple weeks without having to refill it. My Peterson, I can go an entire month basically without having to refill it. And of course that's gonna be, depend on how much you use your lighter. And I don't always use my butane lighter all the time. Sometimes I use my Zippo lighter, which just takes lighter fluid. This is a pipe lighter. When I'm out and about, if there's a nice breeze going, the soft flame butane lighters just can't cut it in a breeze. They just don't work very well. The Zippo will always light pretty much all the time. If you can stand a little bit of flavor for the first couple puffs, it's not too bad. Um, and sometimes I just use a Bic, but with the moderate use that I put into these lighters, Peterson, which is just all butane storage here, lasts about a month. This one lasts a couple weeks, but your results may vary. Now, if you just handle this lighter, and again, I'm gonna compare it to this Peterson here, because this is my version of a premium old boy style lighter. It feels a lot cheaper than the Peterson does. It's lighter. Um, the chrome finish, I don't even know that it's actually chrome. I'm not sure how you would really determine that, but this, it it's, doesn't really translate on camera, but the heft of this lighter, the feel of this lighter, as you manipulate the mechanism, the way it's finished, it just feels a lot more expensive. It feels a little bit more pleasing in the hand than this one does. And this isn't bad by any means, but it definitely doesn't feel anywhere near as high quality as this Peterson lighter does. And if we open these both up, which I will do, we're going to see another major difference. So let's cut to these both being opened. So we've cracked both of these bad boys open. You can see first off with the Peterson, you just have this floor plate that's held in place by this screw that also has the opening for filling the butane. And basically when you look in there, that's all you see because this is completely brass bodied. It's brass bodied and then covered in chrome. So all you have is the butane tank and it's brass inside there. And you can see the filler hole for the butane and then the flame adjustment there. What I usually do is I'll put a couple flints here and then put a little piece of cotton inside to prevent them from rattling around. And then I just pop my floor plate back on. This is going to be a mess because I can't do this through the viewfinder. Um, sort of like that, except without the excess cotton sticking through there. And then that way I can carry extra flints on me. But with the Mr. Brog lighter, you can see we've got our floor plate here, a uh, little screw there that you take off to take out the floor plate, the tool attached still, obviously. And then if we look at this, oops, there you go. We've got this liner 
and then it is a plastic body. So the butane tank is plastic. Most of the mechanism inside is plastic. And that's where a lot of the savings is going to come from. This is made of brass. It's expensive. This is made of plastic. It is inexpensive. And so you can see that the butane capacity there, basically, if you take off this, you have that much storage space for the butane. Now again, this lighter is $14.99, so obviously there are going to be major differences in how they're manufactured. And then to pop it back together, just make sure you get your pipe tool back into that little sleeve there for it, and you screw it down again. Now I've had this lighter for about a month now, and it has worked. It's worked just fine. It usually lights on the first or second time, um, as I mentioned, the butane lasts me about a couple weeks. It'll vary depending on how much you use the lighter, but it doesn't seem to leak or anything. I read some reviews on the Amazon.com um, item page for this lighter, and some people mentioned the butane leaking after a while. It hasn't happened to me yet. I can't say it will never happen. I definitely don't expect it to last as long as my Peterson, but it's so far it's been fine. For $14.99, I'm not too worried about the longevity of this lighter. The one thing that I will mention that you do have to be careful of, you can see on the bottom here, we have our flame adjustment screw. If I take this and I put it all the way up right there, um, when I received this lighter, that's where the flame adjust adjustment screw was. And I filled it with butane for the first time and I went to light it for the first time and this is what happened. Ho! Whoa, yeah, that's kind of dangerous. That's a little bit of a problem. I don't know if it's the same with every single one of these lighters, but yeah, if you have the flame all the way up, you get yourself quite the blowtorch there. So if you're not expecting that, you could singe some eyebrows, you could burn a little finger hair or something like that. You have to be careful. I keep mine adjusted down eh, around there. Not sure if you can see that. It's just a little bit to the right of the plus sign. And that gives me a pretty good flame. And the other thing that I would mention though is that the flame isn't always consistent. It tends to vary a little bit depending on how much butane is in this. I just filled this one, so I have a pretty healthy flame there when it's at this point, when the adjustment wheel is there. But when it starts to get low, that flame gets lower and lower and lower. With my Peterson, it pretty much stays the same until it runs out or until right before it runs out. So this is a little variable. It's just, you know, it's not as precisely made as a Peterson would be or as the I Am Corona Old Boy would be. Now, as I mentioned, when you hold these lighters in the hand, this Peterson lighter feels expensive. It feels very well made, very durable. It seems like it's built like a tank. This does not. It's a lot lighter. It just feels a little looser, a little more prone perhaps to breakage, but again, it's $14.99. So for the price, I don't have any complaints about this lighter at all. It's worked for me. It might work for you. I cannot guarantee absolutely its durability or longevity, but again, if it does break on you, supposedly there's a warranty, and even if you're not able to make a claim on that warranty, you're only out $14.99. So there you go, the Mr. Brog Chrome Pipe Lighter with Tamper and Pick. For $14.99, I don't think it's a bad option for lighting your pipe. Does it feel as nice? Does it feel as high quality as this Peterson Pipe Lighter or as the IM Corona that you may have seen? No, it doesn't. It doesn't at all. But it's still a very decent lighter for $14.99. I can't speak to the real long-term durability of this lighter because I've only had it for a month, but so far it's worked and it's worked just fine. And it does say, as I mentioned on the Amazon storefront for Mr. Brog, that there is a two year warranty or a guarantee. I don't know how one would make a claim on that warranty. I don't really see any information on the Amazon um, website. I didn't see any information in the box that the lighter came in. So that's something that you might have to investigate on your own. Maybe look on the Mr. Brog website, which is sort of in Polish, sort of in English. It's kind of hard to determine. But for $14.99, like I said, it's not a bad option. And if it does completely just die on you, you're not out that much money. So there you go. That's my review of the Mr. Brog Chrome Pipe Lighter with Tamper and Pick. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your good friend Bradley. You've been the audience. This has been Stuff and Things. I'll see you later.